against Declan Grant. Had that big, best, one of the best beards in the business. <laughs> yes, indeed. Real. The Hasa Hasas. And our junior official, Sean Monahan, presenting the gold, the H2O Hybrid Championship. That's what's at stake here. Let us know who you think is going to win this matchup. Use that hashtag, H2O, H2O Torn. Will G.G. Everson retain in his first title defense? Will the Mush Master bring home the gold to the great state of Maryland? We're about to find out. I'll tell you what, this is my first time seeing Spriggs in action live. And uh, I'll tell you what, I, I like it. He's got a very serious demeanor. Uh, he looks very well put together. He's, He's very multifaceted uh, in other forms of combat. He has a big background before getting inside the square circle. I, I'm very much anticipating uh, what I'm going to see from him. I mean, uh, there this might be a, a contrast of styles here between these two, perhaps. I, I, I'm not sure. I can't say. But uh, I'm, I'm real interested to see what happens in this matchup. I mean, like you said, it's GD, Gigi's first defense of the title. Uh, Spriggs. Oh, he just mowed down Spriggs. Yes, yeah, Spriggs, he, he, he wants to make an impact here. You know what I mean? So, like, there's a lot riding on this match. And there's going to be the X factor in this contest. The Marauders all across the outside. J.B. Anderson causing the stretch and allowing Spriggs to hit that Harley Race style high knee to the back. And, and you know what, unfortunately for uh, Gigi Everson, uh, the, the referee assignments, uh, uh, the, the more inexperienced referee is in the ring for this contest, rather than Nick Papa Giorgio, who, who knows how to have his head on the swivel when there's multiple people outside the ring like that. Uh, so, I mean, it, it may be a, one of those things that play into this matchup that potentially would not happen if... Uh, you know, if, if there was a different referee in there. And not, not to blame him, I'm just saying, it was one of those little intangibles in this sport. Everson's given, being given a wrestling lesson here from Tatum Sprague's two beautiful amateur style takedowns. Yeah. And he's got almost like an inverted bear hug applied. Yeah, it's almost, uh, it's almost got like the, the, the full waist lock here, but doesn't have the back fully good. Now he does. There you go, takes and it down. And third time. And uh, Gigi Everson, he's not really used to being uh, treated like this. Yeah, Everson's more of a brawler, more yeah. of a powerhouse. He's not really, you know, known for you know, being a technician, a submission specialist inside that ring. So Tim Spreeds has taken full advantage of that here in the early going. Well, not only that, but I mean, he, Everson, you know, given his, his size and shape, uh, he's not used to being picked up and thrown down uh, that many times in quick succession. Everson sitting outside. Now Stephen Flortes uh, giving Spriggs a water break, and that's allowing Hayden and Anderson to yeah, the, hit the bones of Everson, throw them back inside, all behind the officials back. Those are the two that I really uh, would keep my eye on if I was uh, if I saw them out and called them in. I, I just, <laughs> just look, they, they look they, they look like uh, street toughs. I mean, they look like guys that will really give you a hard time if you just look at them the wrong way, man. And they've definitely certainly made no friends here with our H2O faithful. Well, wind up going for the right hand. Everson, you know, to his credit, though, with, with everything, uh, with, you know, not quite insurmountable odds, but what seems to be uh, the odds against him. Uh, he's fighting away because he knows that he has to win in order to keep that championship belt around his waist. Yes. Now Everson's got the advantage on him. Spriggs got whipped hard into the buckle and watch out. Everson might be thinking Cannonball. Oh, oh, running hip attack. Yeah, change it up a little bit sometimes. Keep your opponent guessing. Now he's on top. Two. Leg hook. But you know, Spriggs made a mistake there. He was going for that right hand. He was going more to the striking ability. And that's more in Everson's wheelhouse. And that's ever since that point, Everson's been able to take advantage. Yeah, you're, you're right there. And uh, get, go to those knees. And yeah, the Muay Thai knees, European uppercut. Spriggs off the ropes. Oh, he got caught. Samoan drop. Yeah, it looked like Spriggs is going for like a leaping high knee of some sort, but he just got caught and dropped. Oh, the big man takes flight with the drop kick. Yeah, don't let, don't let the man's size fool you. Not at all. He's quite athletic. 
Emerson might be thinking about his signature STO. Oh, that's a devastating move, man. Yeah, that's the move that won him the championship last month. Head of steam, there's the cannonball. He nailed every bit of it, too. Right square in the corner. Cover, two, out. He's able to kick out. EG now putting Spriggs in position. He's going to take off the ropes here. That's on top. Oh, he got caught. Oh, he got caught in the choke. You know Spriggs had that, that, that scouted. Yes, indeed, but Everson, nice counter and only getting a one count. You know, I don't know for sure, but I can definitely assume that he's the type with an IWTV subscription and the guy is stunning. Since oh, position. nice double A takedown wow. from Spriggs. And raining in those forearm shots. Oh, a variation of a light lock here. It was a knee bar. Now he's got the other white trap. Almost a variation of an Indian death lock. Yeah, but now Gigi is... Oh, Everson using his weight. But Spreed's got Everson's weight right at W. Stop W, got him! Oh, wait a minute, what? watch out, watch out! out. Everson getting out of Dodge. Tim Spreeds was looking to go to what he knows best, those submissions.